Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So, uh, continuing my Android O extravaganza, we shall now take a look at a preliminary route made by Chain5 for the Nexus 5X and 6P. So, I guess this will cater to both of our devices so I can make, well, if you have either one of those devices that is a Nexus 5X or a Nexus 6P like I have here, uh, you can follow this video pretty much and flash it. So obviously we're going to use Fastboot for this and this is our, I guess, first look at rooting Android O. Now we'll get started right away so we'll just head over back to our computer. That looks a bit funny, there we go. And here is the XDA thread or post that Chainfire has released it. It's just a link down here. So you'll want to click and download this obviously and I'm just going to save it into the Android folder. So click on this download link down here and I'm going to save it here just so we can keep things uh, a little organized. So while that's downloading pretty slowly, uh, let's have a look at some of the things that we need, that we need to download as well. First off, I'd like to check and make sure that you have, you know, Fastboot ready to be used. I know that some people like to ask those questions down in the comments, but I do have videos on how to get that set up in the more info as well. And if you already unlocked or rooted your phone before, I'm pretty sure you've used Fastboot before to do so. So it, you don't have to follow my video, as long as you can use Fastboot on your phone or with your phone on your computer, uh, that is fine. But if you need to set it up, you can have a look at these videos and um, use that. And the other thing we want to download as well is the latest version of TWRP, so that in this case it's 3.1.0-0 and that also comes as an image file over here. So right now I've downloaded both files as you can see down here and we are going to copy the SuperSU zip to our phone. So of course we need to go on our phone and uh, I guess I'll just show this. We'll need to go on our phone and plug it in with the USB like I have currently right now. And what else you want to do is now go down here, tap on USB for charging this device and then tap on transfer files. And then once you've done that, you can go back to your computer and then open up a new explorer window. Now I had a few issues with this, I had to replug it here and there. That's why because I like to do it on a virtual machine. So I'm going to change it once more to transfer files. And there it is. So what you want to do is pretty much copy, I'll change the view of this. What you're going to want to do is just copy the SuperSU zip that we just downloaded and copy it to the root of the storage just so you can find it on the, the root of the storage. Otherwise you can put it in one of your folders there or make a new folder and copy it in. But uh, you just remember the file name and it ends with odp1-5x-6p. So you know that's right. Now when you updated or flashed Android O, you probably replaced TWRP with the stock recovery even if you didn't choose to flash the recovery image that was provided in the system images. Uh, the stock boot image does like to replace these so what you want to do is probably to reflash TWRP or boot from it at least. So I'm going to, I'm going to flash it back to the recovery partition and to do that we are going to boot our phone into the bootloader. So what we're going to do is hold power, we're just going to shut it off. But before we do that, I'm just going to unplug the USB cable because that way I can boot it into the bootloader a little quicker. So we're going to power off our device and get that into the bootloader. Of course you can use ADB to do it, but I'm used to doing it this way. Okay, so once it's powered off, you want to hold power and volume down at the same time until you get to the bootloader screen. If nothing shows up like this, uh, you can just let go or eventually it'll just come back around. And from there, we can just plug in our USB cable again, like so. And now we can go back to our computer and we can do a few things here. So first off, we are going to either boot or flash TWRP. So to do that, you're going to have to bring up your way of using Fastboot. Uh, if you followed one of my videos as I showed from here, if you followed one of these or just especially the Windows one, uh, you can just access it from any command prompt window without having to change directories. But if you didn't do it my way then I guess you just need to do whatever it is that you need to to get to use Fastboot. So the general command is we're going to flash the recovery or boot from it. So you can type in Fastboot flash recovery, leave a space on the end, drag in our TWRP image and hit enter. Now the alternative or the alternate thing that you can do is type in fastboot boot and then leave a space in the end of boot 
and then drag in our TWRP image and kind of load that up. That will boot from the image and not from the actual recovery partition. So that's useful if you want to leave the stock recovery partition there uh, as it is. Now this pattern here, I get asked about this sometimes as well, is not something you can just set within TWRP. It is in fact your lock screen pattern or your passcode or password. So this is to decrypt your data partition and so your TWRP can access whatever is inside your SD card. So with that password thing, you just choose one of the options. You don't need to do both. But here we are booted now. What we're going to do is um, we're going to change the view again. And what we're going to do is tap on wipe, uh, sorry, install. Scroll all the way to the bottom and locate the new Super SU zip, which is this one, that really long one. SR4 and it ends in 5x and 6p. I'm going to tap on that and then swipe to confirm flash. Now we should see this work better than last time. Okie dokie, so we're finished now. What I'm going to do here is now just tap on reboot and once our phone is booted up, a few loops in the boot, but then once that is booted up, uh, we shall see our device working quite well. So I guess I'll fast forward this, it'll probably reboot without actually reaching Android for about three times maybe, and it'll also ask you to decrypt it as well. So don't be alarmed when that happens, it is purely, or supposed to be it, uh, the part of the installation process of SuperSU. So just leave it, don't touch it, and eventually it should boot back into Android. And from there, I guess we can have a look at some root apps. Suppress you. Oh yeah, that is not good. Okay, so I have a tip for you guys. If root access doesn't work, so when you open up that Suppress you app and you saw pretty briefly before I cut the video that it couldn't find the binary, the, super, or the SU binary, uh, all I had to do was just reflash it in TWRP. I guess it didn't like it the first time I tried flashing it, so tried that, flash it again in TWRP and reboot and see how it goes. I ended up having to do a lot of, uh, you know, use that pattern to start up Android a lot, so it might seem like your phone's just in a really, really, really long boot loop, but it should work eventually. But yeah. So there we are, there's a, something else asking for root access. Now I guess we can have a look at the root checker now. So what I was saying before, just flash super SU again, oh there we go, grant, and we are rooted. Okay, yeah, so like I was saying before, all you need to do is just, I guess, either force your device off or wait for it to reboot all the way up, and then flash super SU again, and then reboot once more, and then do all the enter your pattern to start Android and all that stuff few boot loops and all that and then you should get back up to this screen right here so yeah this is how you root Android O it might not work for you the first time but just try it again and see how it goes otherwise well if anything goes wrong you just restore the boot image from the system images of the system image that you downloaded of Android O and you should be fine so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all in the next one